I'm gonna test it out now. Got it loaded, I hope it fires. We're gonna take one test shot into the heart of pizza boxes. Let me ask you a question, man. A pizza box breaks into your house. If you don't have a gun, how are you going to shoot it? Oh yeah. Fucking think about it, it's deep. Okay, so. Is it close range? I hope nothing ricochets. In fact, you know what I'm gonna do? We're gonna pan back. Pan all the way fucking back. I'm not sure how powerful this thing is, 400 FPS, steel BB, really don't want to lose anything lining up the shot. Did I even hit anything? What the? Never mind that. Don't even look at that right there. Don't even think about it. Someone just broke into the fucking trailer, gonna go kill him. I can't even tell if this just fired a shot. I heard the snap and of the, the, you know, the air and the, or the CO2 one more time. There we go, we made contact, okay. Took a shot, um, let's do another one. Okay, so the CO2 dude did load into it correctly. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I'm sure some paintball weirdos could tell me about how you gotta carefully do it or what I did wrong to make it hiss. It kind of scared the shit out of me at first, but. Oh, you know that's on camera, man. Don't break it in there, man. Anyway, okay. So yeah, we definitely punctured that pizza box. I'm not sure the full extent. I want to get a can and shoot the can out. Yeah, hold on. Let me do that shoot. It's so about uh, 15 feet away. I'm not really sure of the accuracy on this. Um, and I've loaded it up. You can see here. Here's the magazine with... I didn't fill it up all the way. It's like... I don't know. What's it look like? 15 BBs? So there we go. Safety is on. But now it is not. So let's step about... I'm going to stand back a little bit. And I'm about maybe... 20 feet, no, 30 feet away. I'm gonna line up the shot. This shouldn't be too difficult to pull off. Missed. Missed again. There you go. And I made contact right there. Let me take the camera up for a close view. That's right, wielding a tripod like a sword. And as you can see there, it is bleeding to death all over the uh, deck. The little mini deck, the sub deck. The airsoft deck, what was the airsoft deck. Anyway, so let me just take the finishing shots into some pizza boxes, for whatever reason, just to show you that it's rate of fire, maybe, I don't know. What's the point besides looking cool? Whoosh! Right? I mean, come on, really? Okay. So it's just, I don't know. Take some finishing shots in the pizza box. Actually, here, can you see the can still? Yeah, man, I'm gonna, I'm gonna zoom in on the can. Here we go. I'm gonna fuck up that can, baby. Here! Yeah. Yeah, contact. Damn. Okay, pizza box time. And I'm out. Yep, out of rounds. All right, let's zoom back out. And real quick, let's take a look at the damage that was done on that thing. the BBs rattle around in there with a whole bunch of liquid. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. So there you go. It's bleeding to death. And uh, I totally fucked up the pizza boxes. Um, the accuracy, even at this distance, isn't brilliant. Um, that's because it's only 400 FPS. You know what? I'm already skipping into final thoughts. So let's go do this in my room after I get cleaned up and change my shoes. So. Lesson learned. <laughs> Pay attention class, this is important. The biggest lesson you can drag away from this is read the motherfucking instructions. I didn't read the instructions, I've never done any CO2 before. And um, I tried to screw it in, I found out what the Allen Alda wrench is for, I think I mentioned that before, that uh, yeah. So I finally screwed in a CO2 cartridge to that, and the first thing it does is like, I just start hissing and spraying out light, miasma. And, um, yeah, scared the fuck out of me, and it made this cartridge, cartridge fucking magazine, goddamn clip, made it cold, it made it cold, and it scared me, and I didn't think there would be enough pressure in it for it to generate enough force to actually fire the BBs at a good velocity. Um, the velocity, again, is only 400 FPS, which isn't even, I mean, like, you know, that's only 25 FPS more than my, you know, one of my airsoft rifles, but it did enough that it could puncture cans, and that's actually pretty wicked. 
Um, it's not extremely powerful. You can find more powerful ones even made by Crossman, which I'm going to have to look into. Um, overall, the build isn't brilliant. You hear things in the gun, and that's just no good. Um, it's not... And like that is loose in there. It's not an overly expensive gun, but for less you could get better. It does look badass, and it is a Heckler and Coke. Never aim it this way. Woo! So, you know, um... Yeah, I, I would say pass, personally. Um, it's okay to have. It's not bad if it's, you know, just... If it's the only one you want because you like Heckler and Coke, but, uh... Yeah, yeah, anyway. So, now I've got a whole bunch of shit to clean up. There's no good way to end a review. It's like breaking up. All you can do is say, I slept with your ex-girlfriend. Wait, all I can... All you can do is say, I slept with your girl... I slept with your best friend... No.